I'm Wes Talbot, and I am the Lego designer on the Medieval Blacksmith. So the Medieval Blacksmith is a half timber style building. It has three floors. The bottom floor, you'll find the Blacksmith Workshop with a, a furnace a forge. So you have two anvils, you can work at the same time. And then the outside of the building, there's an apple tree, a well, a small log pile to throw on the fire, as well as a small squash patch outside. There's a few animals. There's a tiny tree frog uh, hiding in the apple tree, as well as a dog who I like to imagine could pump the bellows, which actually when you pump the bellows, it triggers the light brick inside the forge to make it glow. And you can also find a wagon from two knights that are visiting to collect their wares. The middle floor of the blacksmith shop is a nice medieval style kitchen. From there you can go up the stairs and to the top floor where you'll find a double bed with a, a nice colorful handmade quilt, a small nook for poetry, a comfy bearskin rug, and also a small fireplace to keep the people warm at night. I had a really fun time working with Austin on the set. We're good friends outside of work, so that was a, a fun experience. Hello, I am Sir Austin William Carson. And I'm the graphic designer on the Medieval Blacksmith set. The set comes with two knights, and fans should be able to recognize them because it's the classic Black Falcon knights, harboring back to our more classic castle lines that we've done in the past. I went back and looked at old original signs from the era and try to bring it up a little bit closer to that detailing. But also, we were able to do a few new color changes for the armor to really add that extra level of detail for them. The set comes with an archer and also a blacksmith. Unintentionally, the blacksmith ended up looking a lot like my old college friend. I'm sure he's going to appreciate it once he sees him. But yeah, the long orange hair and bushy beard, that's what he looked like. <laughs> for the blacksmith sign, we got more involved with the fan designer and asked him what he wanted. Traveling was a big part of his life and we added mountains in the background while at the same time being able to show the artistry of the blacksmith by having both the hammer and the tools as his logo. Lego Ideas is arguably the most exciting part of Lego because it's where fans can have their ideas realized and actually turned into Lego sets. Fans can essentially submit their model, which they would create themselves, and try their best to get 10,000 people on the site to actually support their project. It then goes into a review. If you are very, very lucky, your set is actually turned into an official LEGO Ideas set. This Medieval Blacksmith is the 33rd LEGO Ideas set to date. When I saw this project come up on LEGO Ideas, I really wanted to be the one working on it. I'm very interested in medieval architecture in general, and I've actually done a few blacksmith sets myself in my spare time. So it's kind of cool that through Clemens' wish to have this blacksmith set is reflecting my own wish as well. Wes and I were super excited to see this hit LEGO Ideas, and we almost instantly jumped on it and started making preparations. I already had a collection of knights that I've already worked as a fan, so I had designs ready to go, and Wes was already building right away on this. So we had so much energy pumped into this model, and right when it got accepted, we jumped straight at it. We met with Clemens, the fan designer, a couple times, and we asked him, oh, what are some things that you would like to include in the set? He's a big fan of nature and the outdoors, and so uh, we have a small treasure chest in the top floor that we've included a backpack and a compass to reflect his hobby. It's hard to pick my favorite part of the model, but I did really enjoy working on the roof. Clemens did a really fantastic, very detailed version of the roof that had this tricky angle to it. So that was kind of the first thing that I started tackling when I started to build it. And I really enjoyed adding the little bits of detail where a few shingles have popped off and need repair, as well as the moss that needs to be scrubbed off eventually. I absolutely love the set. It's really, really beautifully designed, and it reminds me a lot of the castle sets that I used to play with as a kid. Lego Castle is such a classic thing to me, and being able to just get back and working on these things that were once toys for me, it felt like a full journey now to be able to play with something and then being able to develop it for the next generation. I'm very excited for this model to come out. I think it's probably my favorite set that I've worked on to date and I hope every Castle fan out there is just as excited as I am to get their hands on it.